morning, church family. How are you? Good. That's good. I've got a croaky voice because we sat around the fire with friends last night and I inhaled so much smoke, my vocal cords have decided to die, but that's all right. Um, <laughs> this morning we're doing a presentation on our life groups. Scotty's really behind life groups, if you hadn't noticed. Um, anyway... Enough for me for now. We thought we'd let you know about life groups from the people who attend them. So watch the video, sit back and enjoy and I'll be back up in a moment. of our ladies Bible study group. We're a community of women from all kinds of different circumstances and with different personalities but the love of Jesus just binds us together and we love each other warts and all and we get to walk through life and all the difficult circumstances and the joyful circumstances together and we use the wisdom of God's word to guide us through that time. What I like about the life group that I joined this year is that we're all on a journey, different journey, and it's just amazing to deal with people with their knowledge and getting into the Word, the Bible, and just getting to know Jesus and God the way that um, we should do. I came to this beautiful group that we have on a Tuesday with Fiona and Melissa and a lot of the other ladies. I came to it very broken. Deb Davidson um, brought me to the group and I just thank God that she held my hand every time. The Holy Spirit just drew me here because every time I came for weeks and weeks I just cried. I just cried, I sobbed, I cried, I sobbed. And they just loved me back into where I am today. So I just thank God they're just a wonderful group of beautiful women who just know how to love unconditionally and um, through the Holy Spirit and their prayers that just brought me back to life and a new relationship with my Lord Jesus. I am so thankful for the ladies group I'm in on Tuesdays. We've studied the word together and we connect in a way over all sorts of things and, and there's just so many God moments in it. I just love Fiona and Melissa's teaching um, and it's been such a great blessing in my life. So thank God for small groups. What I love about Bible study is that we spiritually get to grow together, face each other's issues together, as well as dig into the Bible and just talk about the walk of Christ and his accomplishments, as well as just really asking the nitty gritty questions. So yeah, that's my favorite part about Bible study. I think just getting to know people that normally at church, I wouldn't get to know them as much as what I do here. Mm. And what I've learned is to go beyond our groups make us go beyond the front that we see at church and we get to know the real people and you learn to love the real people in your group. It's an accepting, loving and comfortable place where I can be myself. There's no judgment and we all have a great relationship with each other and we can say the truth in love and bear each other's burdens and do life together. Life group for me is about friends who have become family. It's not only learning about the word, but it's also learning about yourself. Just the friendship and total commitment to the group, to each other, and there's a lot of love that goes around and people just uh, commit to one another and just really, really love it. Being in this life group, it just rocks on, yeah. I like being able to read the word and know I'm not judged if I can't say it properly or the things that I can't say right. I feel like easy to be me and learn. I really love life group because it's just a really good place of connection with people and yeah, mostly that I just like that it's in family home and it just is feels nice and safe and 
friendly and um, we get to learn about God's word as well and yeah I just like meeting up with people. We love the home group, we love the jokes and where we challenge each other, where we learn from each other. We had a lovely outing to Mike's kitchen, where we really learn to know each other in life. And it's a lovely uh, atmosphere, a home feels like family. I love home groups because I think that we can, uh, as a group, learn more about God and uh, experience life. I love home group because we can share life and, and faith with each other. We joined the Salvation Army a few months ago and we really wanted to get into a home group and here we are meeting new people and really getting to know people at a deeper level. I just love doing life and learning about Jesus with other people. It's wonderful, the life group that I go to with Lindell. She does such a wonderful job causing us to think about things in a different light. And this is the first group that I have been in since I retired. And I love it every week. Thank you. We started off the year as the Wednesday Home Group. After Bob Pike one night signed off our prayer list as the Wednesday Warriors, that name stuck to us and we were proud to be the Wednesday Warriors. We want to be a group that's caring and sharing and praying for each other. We not only see ourselves as a Wednesday night, but a seven day group that is there for each other any time of day. We have many fun events and enjoy being with each other. Well, we've only just turned up tonight, so we don't have a clue what they do. We're just believing them, and I'm already scared. And, uh, but I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun. And we've been made feel really welcome, a very warm and, uh, and welcoming group, and so we're so pleased to be here. <laughs> So as well as uh, Wednesday night uh, praying and learning about the Word, we like to get together sometimes outside of the, the home group space and it's just a really lovely time to relax and get to know each other a little bit deeper. So we've, we've been to trivia nights and picnics. Um, we have our first Wednesday of the month dinner together and it's just a really lovely time. Welcome to the Warriors Home Group. <laughs> we call ourselves Warriors. No, I think we're very fierce and daunting to some people, <laughs> particularly the enemy. Um, we, we are an interesting bunch. We've got one common factor probably. We're all crazy. <laughs> um, but we just love to be able to get together and, and talk about things that, that concern us and pray for each other, pray for everybody else that we can think of too. And that is really at the heart of our home group, I think, that we have that sharing and willingness to really be open to uh, each other and to God and what we think and do. So not only do we do the Wednesday nights, uh, what I really love about this group is the online presence that we've got um, in Messenger and it's really been a support for me and Rach and everyone else who's going through struggles that um, you get prayers, you get encouragement, uh, you just get this 24-7 um, access to people that love you, people you can be vulnerable with, honest, open, and just truly enjoy them being Jesus in our lives. And um, yeah, we do that pretty well as a group, I think. I love my Wednesday nights um, because I feel as if I'm coming home to family. And um, I love to sit around this family table and we all chat away about what's going on in our lives. Um, there's a bit, no, not a bit of laughter, there's a lot of <laughs> laughter. Um, but then before we get into the word, uh, Rose chooses a, a worship song and um, has it playing. And so the chatter stops 
and we just um, calm our hearts and minds and we take in the meaning of the words and we worship around this table and I think it's just very meaningful and it's a very beautiful thing. I love it. And the other thing that we do while we're here is uh, we do study the Word of God. <laughs> we wouldn't be here without our Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit that leads us and guides us into His Word. Amen. We bring it to life and how it is um, for us today. Uh, we try and practice and um, understand the Word and how applicable it is for us today, what it means to us today to live the life of Christ in the world today. We share the studies. We have Joe who does study sometimes, Marion. So we really share the load because we have um, we empower leadership here and uh, we don't take it and hold it, we share it. And we love to do that. And the Word of God can be so funny and very interesting. <laughs> we love it. The young adult live group, and we're at Wellow Point tonight. It's a little bit blowy, but it's good. Here's the group. Oh, and why do you enjoy coming to life group? Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, enjoy people, I That's guess. Maybe. Great. <laughs> I love learning more about God. I love spending time with people and learning more about God. <laughs> Combo <laughs> answer. I feel I like I'm answering God warming me from the inside out because uh, I'm freezing right now. We're <laughs> no, spiritually growing together. Nice. I love sharing life with you because share my faith. Nice. Like learning from other people. That's all awesome. Leah. That's all. Oh, Liam, yeah. hiding again. He was hiding from all the photos. Yeah, well, um, other than that, it, it do be good. It do be good. Words of wisdom. Bye-bye. Hello, Bruce and Benice. We're part of the Kruger's uh, family group. Reason, some of the reasons we uh, like it is it's a place to gather and catch up. Uh, we found out that we've, uh, we have a lot in common, which we didn't think we had before. Um, we talk about family news, uh, what's happening in each of our lives. It's a safe place to talk and share and support each other. <coughs> Uh, we have our life group messenger, which we use about every day to um, keep in top contact between our face-to-face -face meetings. Um, what else? We really enjoy it. That's it's, about it. We look forward to it. Yep. Okay. Have a good day, everybody. Bye. Bye. Wasn't that amazing? Um, I just want to thank Nat and her dad who put that all together and I want to thank everybody who some of us had to harass their group members to actually appear, not naming any names in my group, but um, they did. But it was really great. It was just so cool to see all the different facets of life groups, wasn't it? Bob, maybe you should have named our group too. We were having trouble finding a name. Anyway, there are lots of different groups in our church, all important all wonderfully led and everything, but today we're looking at life groups. The four facets of life groups, I think that's the next one on, are worship, we meet together and meet with God in wonder and praise of him. Nurture, we work together to grow as God's people in cherishing his word and inviting his spirit to infill us. Mission, we pray for and work towards God's mission of love, touching people everywhere who are in need of him. Community. We deeply care for one another through every season of our diverse lives. I think there should be a fifth one that says ministry to the interior because if you're with Deb Mole, you know you're getting a good feed every week. Um, mind, you, mind you, we had milk tart at our, our group last week, which was pretty cool too. That, yeah, the South Africans are taking over our group. Got, yeah, middle, how do I say it, guys? <laughs> anyway, on the next slide, we're looking at growth. If you're a number cruncher, you'll enjoy this next little bit. I'm not a number cruncher, but you'll enjoy it. God's been amazing. 
Our groups have grown from seven groups in 2020. Do you remember we had that big sign up last year, November, December? That was fun. Anyway, we've grown from seven to nine groups. That's an increase of 25%. There you go. Have you got that? Uh, Scotty's excited. <laughs> How cool is it to have Scotty back too? He's the number cruncher. Yeah, well, he actually did these, I have to be honest, from his hospital bed, believe it or not. That's dedication for you. Um, next one's a number of life group leaders. We've gone from 11 life group leaders to 12 life group leaders. And Guy and I uh, started up a new group. We were leading last year, started a new group. And then there's just been, we've got fabulous leaders. One group, Robin Rose's group, there are three people in that group who are journeying with cancer. And Rob jokingly said to me the other day that I think he was changing home group to the oncology ward. <laughs> and I just said, no, nah. no, it won't be as nice. Stay at Moles. Um, but anyway, and we are still in this weird situation of we need more home groups, more life groups. And we particularly, I'd particularly like to see one in the Birkdale area with some people. But So we're praying on about that one. Part of our group thing too that came from Greg and Ruth Peckman is the fact that we like to use the life groups as a training ground for people who may not want, feel comfortable getting up in church doing something in particular, but in a safe situation, they can learn how to lead a prayer time. They can even take the Bible study, um, whatever, whatever way we can encourage people and use that as a training ground who might one day go on to their own group. Um, so that's part of the ethos of the, of, the, of the groups and it's part of serving one another and the joy that comes from that. Now, hang on, let me get back to these statistics. Here we go. Scotty, I've lost my pace. We've grown from 11 to 12 and that was an increase of 40% from 2020 to 21. This is the group member growth. I'm on the wrong one. I can't even get it right. Got my pages in the wrong place. Group member growth has gone, now this is really amazing, from 58 people to 83 people participating. That's 43% growth. Have I mixed my slides? Maybe that's what I've done. So, and there are still folk who aren't in life groups, but I'm not mentioning who they are. But, you know, just if you'd like to join one, we'd love to see you. Okay, so the next slide is, okay, a verse that we've chosen uh, that really encapsulates what groups are about is the Acts 2.42. If every believer was faithfully devoted, every believer was faithfully devoted to following the teachings of the apostles, their hearts were mutually linked to one another, sharing communion and coming together regularly for prayer. There are a myriad of verses on coming together. We're not meant to be alone. And um, Guy and I can attest to the fact that we have had huge growth in our lives, spiritual lives, as we have met together in groups over the years. Um, have I left anything out? Help me out. No, still going. I'm glad Scott's still smiling because I'm as nervous as anything. Okay. Okay. Keep going. I know you, it's, it's just family, but I get terribly nervous getting up here with this sort of thing. The heart of life groups is being devoted to God and growing with him and serving him and being devoted to each other in supporting each other and caring for each other, having great laughs together and meals and everything else. And I think this is the last page, the next one on. Thank you. At the moment, um, there's a lot going on in our groups and I'd like to really pray for our leaders of groups. I'd like to encourage you, if you lead a group, to come out the front of life groups. So that would be the Keens, Guy, Lyndall, Melissa. Is Melissa here today? She's away. Okay, Fiona. If you lead a life group. Um, also, if you have led something in your life group, would you come out here, whether it be the Bible study, the prayer time, whatever? Yeah, Neil? 
JJ. Deb Moll's done something too, apparently. Besides provide amazing food. Okay, the youth, yeah, young adults. The leaders there, we've got everybody. And there are many groups. As you know, there is a wonderful group on Thursdays for the ladies. The coffee nights for the ladies and the men's. Am I missing anybody? Who leads them? Is Marg here? Marg, do you want to come out the front too, please? Kathy and Bev, who help on Thursdays. Kath? Kath. Bob Pike. <laughs> Sorry, there's, you can't hide here today, guys. I'm telling you, we can see you. You can run, but you can't hide. We are incredibly blessed in this church to have people who will join in the journey of serving others by leadership and influence. And I thank God for all of these people, as I know you do. And there are some out there who are unwilling to come up here but are already part of this journey with us, and we bless you. There are some out there who say, you know what, I know I should be doing that. The Spirit's speaking to me about that. Well, allow the Spirit to continue to do that and come and speak to the incredible Deb. Can I please have some encouragement an acclamation for Deb today. She might be nervous, but she's thoroughly wonderful and she is such a blessing to this church. And we can talk about what God has done in building new groups and new leaders and a whole whack of new members, but it takes willing hearts and individuals and Deb has played such a key role in that in our church in championing this cause. We cheer her on in that, but she wants to hear from more and more of you about new groups, new leaders, new opportunities. Who's going to start up the group at Birkdale and how's it going to happen? Wherever the Lord is leading you, just be on that journey and take it forward. Let's pray. God, we are so thankful for the gift of one another. You give us incredible gifts in life, amazing gifts in life, but one of them is this beautiful and tremendous and all-surpassing joy of being able to be in community with one another and knowing what that does for us and how the journey of life is so much better with you and with your people. And so we just thank you for what you're doing in renewing and transforming and changing our life groups ministry in this church, that we're taking it to a whole new level, that there's a level of engagement here that is beyond where we've been before. And Lord, we know that you want more. And we know that you desire more because you want good gifts for your children. That's what your word says to us. And this is one of the greatest gifts. So encourage these leaders who are gathered here standing before you today. Encourage the hearts of all those who are thinking, you know what, that should be my journey and my continued passion to grow and be involved in that group as a leader and be part of a group as a member and allow us all to grow together richly through it. We want to be faithfully devoted, Lord to you and to your groups and to this ministry together. So Lord, just bless and encourage us continually and give us again a time very soon when we can get up and tell more stories of how our groups are growing, our leaders are growing and as a result, the kingdom is growing. So Lord, be blessed by us and by our praise of you and our lifting up of you in this place today and all God's people who loved life groups said, Amen. 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 Please be seated everyone.